We're here today at the uh, dyno and I'm going to show you a little bit about a product from TurboSmart called a fresh air anti-lag valve. There's many different parts to this and most of the technical stuff will be in the video that we've shot just previously so that'll be part one to this which you can go and check out here. But for now we're going to go to the rolling road and I'm going to just give you a brief run through of what is going to happen. This is the engine bay of the Walton Motorsport S13. Uh, you're fairly standard if you were 2JZ coupled with a large Borg Warner turbo. Um, with a little bit of nitrous oxide over here. Make it go a little bit quicker and pick up. Um, which is all well and good and has served us quite well for two years, but I think we can make it better. And what we're going to use is, as I said before, the Turbo Smart Fresh Air anti lag valve. So fresh air is going to pass from here, which is the uh, which is a boost pipe, round through through the valve and actually into the exhaust manifold, which is going to help spool the turbo. What's going to happen now is uh, we're just going to put this on done and we're going to set up and tune uh, the fresh air anti lag system on this car. <laughs> So we're back now at Walton Motorsport HQ, which is where the S13 normally resides. We're, uh, we had some really good results in the dyno. We didn't get quite as much time as we had hoped we were going to get on there, but uh, we've got some really good results so far nonetheless. Um, so we've still got 1.3 bar maintained at 1800 RPM, which is absolutely fantastic if you're running down into that corner. Um, we've still got plenty of boost when you open the throttle back up again. Uh, another interesting note is, is we've actually got lower EGTs than we thought we were going to get. So when we had the drive-by-wire um, anti-lag on, we had uh, about 950 degrees of um, e exhaust gas temperature. Uh, when we had the fresh air anti-lag on, it was down to around 650 degrees, which should really help the longevity of the components. Um, what we don't quite have yet is uh, the engine building boost just statically. Um, that's something we're just going to have to work on um, with a little bit more time at the dyno and we will get to show you that at some point in the near future. Some of the more hawk-eyed of you in uh, that have watched this video would have seen this piece of pipe on the back of the car held on with a Jubilee clip and might be thinking that's not a really good way to uh, hold an exhaust on. Well, this is purely there for the um, dyno run so that we could point the exhaust out towards the door. We don't make our exhaust like this. It doesn't stay on the car. Mm -hmm. 